Hi, I'm Chris with Multi-Tank Addiction, where we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. In this video, we'll be going over the top five fish every aquarium hobby should be keeping in their community tank and why. Let's get to it. When it's just you, well times can be tough. In a well-balanced community tank, especially one that will be on display, it must be pleasing to the eye. Not only the decor, but the fish have their places and also roles they fulfill. So let's start at the top. Although several fish come to the top of the tank when feeding, there are many others that spend their day there. Two good examples of top swimming fish would be the lamp eye tetra and the black neon tetra. These fish generally prefer to school together at the top of the tank. There are lots of dither fish on the market and they fulfill two roles. Dither fish by nature shoal together swimming about the tank randomly. They create security for more skittish fish such as these angel fish and the shoaling nature is pleasing to the eye. A good option for this is the beautiful neon tetra or the rummy nose tetra. Next up are show fish or wanderers. These fish are simply here because we find them to be beautiful. They wander about the tank from top to bottom looking pretty while they do it. A couple of my favorites are the electric blue Akara and the rock kill or red shoulder severum. Other popular wanderers are guppies, mollies, platies, or sword turtles. The cleanup crew or bottom of the tank, depending upon the type of fish you have in your community, really determines your cleanup crew. If you have mostly live bears like guppies and swordtails, you can get cherry shrimp or ghost shrimp. But know this, angelfish and tetras will eat those little guys, so research before you buy. So if you can't have shrimp, I recommend the Corridors. Popular ones like the Julii and Sturbi do well in keeping the bottom of the tank clean, just remember they need to be in a group of at least three. Last but not least are the sucker fish. These guys work at keeping algae off your glass, rocks, plants. As a rule of thumb, I found the prettier they are, the lower quality job they do though. Some of my favorites are bristle nose plecos both albino and regular, as well as the Golden Nugget Pleco, a truly stunning fish. But keep in mind, the autocyclists are the true workhorses when it comes to keeping a tank clean. In closing, just remember, there are many different ways to explore the aquarium hobby. Some of these fish may not fill a role so much as we like the way they look. Others do a job so we don't have to. Ultimately, it's up to you to choose what you like in your tanks. All right, so that concludes this video, but there's lots more to see. Just hit this video right here, and we'll get you to the next video up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. And just remember, guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through inspiration and education, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.